Hey Divine Masculines, how are you guys doing? It's your girl Twin D and welcome to my masculine channel, Womb Manual, Twin D's masculine energy. On this channel, we do everything masculine for the masculine, readings on the Divine Feminine so the masculines can see where their feminine is at, what's up with their Divine Feminine and things that they need to work on within themselves so they can move forward towards your divine feminine so guys with that said let's jump into the reading our father who art in heaven hallowed be thy name thy kingdom come thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil for thine is the kingdom the power and the glory forever and ever amen and guys please remember to take a look at my book for all the masculines out there you can purchase this book get an idea as to what this twin flame journey is about why is it that you have this person chasing after you you know saying that they love you that you're twin flames and you don't even understand what twin flame is all about well, this book, I was directed to write it so it can help others to have the information that they seek in the palm of their hands where they can turn to any time that they wish. So you can take a look at it. Description box will have everything in there. Link on where to purchase and the cost. Thanks again for all your support and welcome cross-watching Divine Feminines where of course you can learn what's going on with your situation so you can work on improving it. Let's see what's going on with the Divine Feminines. Okay, what's going on with the Divine Feminines, please? What can you tell me in regards to the Divine Feminines and their masculines, please? What are they feeling in regards to their Divine Masculines, please? chemistry so these divine feminines are feeling connected to you there's a strong magnetic attraction here these divine feminines you have divine feminines here who are also attracting you divine masculines back to them and that's because you are supposed to be together so these divine feminines are changing themselves becoming stable becoming abundant becoming more spiritual becoming more respectful becoming more lovable, getting ready to show you and receive unconditional love, becoming more calm. See, they're feeling this separation too. Time apart from your partner is on the horizon. They're feeling this separation between you and them. And if some of you are still in contact with your divine feminine, maybe there's going to be another separation that's going to come up because in a twin flame connection, there are many separations. And that's because through each separation, you are supposed to use the time to heal whatever wound that is causing that separation. To work on that issue. To work on getting rid of things out of your life that no longer serves you, that you know that does not serve you, but you're still having it in your life because you may feel comfortable with it or you're just scared to move forward to something new. Oh, wow, very fast. Ooh, this commitment. They're feeling this commitment between you and them, Divine Masculines. Your love life is ascending to a higher level of commitment. So again, as I said, these divine feminines are pulling you towards them. You're reconnecting. You're reconnecting with the divine feminine through the 3D and they're feeling it. They're feeling this attraction and you're feeling it also. Forgiving and learning. As you release and heal the past, you experience more love in your present moments. So all those negative things that happen in your life, heal those situations, forgive them, move on. Take yourself out of those situations that you're in 
that you know mean you no good, but you're just there for comfort. Forgive yourself about doing that to yourself. Move on. Move on. And if you need some help, there you go. Let your friends help you. Pray, ask God for help. God's your friend. Your angels that are surrounding you are your friends and you're standing by to take your questions so they can give you your answers, so they can put you on your right path, so they can direct you where you need to go, where you need to be. Give me one more, please. Trust. This situation is calling for you to have faith. So your divine feminines are developing a sense of trust. They are letting go. They are letting things be. They are allowing God to take charge. 555. Five, five. They are sensing the changes that are coming. Your divine feminines are letting go. Forgiving the past between you and them. Whatever happened between you and the divine feminine in the past. They are forgiving it. They're ready to welcome you and welcome some communication, welcoming that conversation between you and them to clear things up. Oh, I love splitting the deck. <laughs> this situation involves marriage. There's a commitment that's coming up for you, divine. Oh my God. Divine masculines and feminine. Very soon. So clearly decide what you want so that it comes to you now. Because on the bottom he said this could be the one. You've already met the romantic partner you seek. So divine masculines, you are asking God for someone to love you. Someone to be there for you. You are fed up with your situation because you weren't getting the treatment that you deserve. The love that you deserve. And you knew that there was somebody out there for you. Someone to love you the way that you would love them. The way that you wanted to be loved. And then God put this feminine energy into your life. But then you got scared and ran away. But that's not your fault. That's because you had to heal your situations before you truly end up together with this person. It's like you're not supposed to enter this connection with this person with any past baggages that's why you gotta forgive and heal the past and move forward towards the future there shouldn't be nothing left unsaid with anyone there shouldn't be anything not cleared up that you have people calling you after you've moved away causing confusion causing arguments between you and the divine feminine you had to clear up a lot of things. You had situations even with your families and friends that they disagreed with you with. And you and them had disagreements. And you just had to clear and heal everything. Forgive and move on. That's why you guys are in separation. To heal those situations. And once you've completed those cycles, then this can happen. That commitment, that wedding. If you can hear the talking in the background, please just ignore it. <laughs> what else can you tell me that's happening here in regards to the feminine and the masculine, please? What else can you tell me that's happening here in regards to the feminines? And the masculine space. Changing, transformation, and it's nine minutes. Number nine, change and transformation is happening between you two. A lot of change is taking place. A lot of things coming into balance. Divine masculine is your lives coming into balance. Communication is also going to come in between you two. The burdens, completing of those burdens, completion of those burdens. Look at that, 10, 9, 10, progression, moving into alignment. The passion and drive that you have, 
is leading you towards victory 1001. You're reflecting each other. Both of you are transforming. Both of you are releasing the hurt and the pain. And you're getting ready for this brand new beginning, this Ace of Cups. See how you have changed here, Divine Masculines, and butterflies, they signify changes. And my other reading for the Divine Feminine, I think the day before, it's like they were being told to pay attention to those signs and synchronicities that are happening around them. And one of their signs is regards to butterflies. And look, changes, transformation, divine masculines are changing, transform, transforming. And again, another butterfly. So when you see those butterflies flying around you, divine masculines, it's signifying changes within you and your divine feminine transformation look again your victory is on its way look at that the chariot fast movement your victory is on its way it's coming you're waiting for something to happen it's like you're making a wish you are wishing this into existence you're wishing this connection together you have made that judgment call and you want this connection the Ten of Pentacles, this life of abundance, of love, someone who cares for you, someone who cherishes you. See that? Balance is what you need. And balance is what you're going to get. Because there's a reunion that's coming in here for you, Divine Masculine. Because it's destined to be with the Wheel of Fortune. It's destined to be. This is destiny. This is your destiny. Tell me about this nine of wands, please, for these divine masculines. See that? The emperor, what did I tell you? Didn't I tell you that you were changing and transforming? I know it's one, two, three on my counter. You're transforming. You're becoming the emperor. Your heart is opening. You're connecting to God. You're being more grounded. Balance. Okay, take it. The chariot. Moving away from all the disturbances. From all those burdens. Two major arcanas. Big changes. You're moving forward towards your divine feminine. And you're doing this because you're connecting to God spiritually. Spiritually. Knight of Swords. Fast movement. You're moving. Uh, movement, movement, movement. You're moving towards the Divine Feminine. You're changing. There was little to no movement before, but that's because transformation was not taking place. There was no transformation. It's like there was no changes that were being made, but now Divine Masculines, you're making your changes and your choices, and things are happening. Things are happening. Eight of Swords, this entrapment and the death. It's over. You're not being trapped anymore. You're not being trapped anymore. You're being released. You're being released to move forward to your destiny, that Ace of Cups. Hmm? Your destiny, right? The lovers. The lovers. This is your destiny, Divine Masculines. This is your destiny. You are lovers and you're meant to be together. Let's see what Roman angels have to say in regards to this message and your divine feminines. Stay optimistic about your love life. Positive thinking and faith will bring you romance. Exactly. Keep that thought positive. It's bringing you what you desired 
make that a wish extend your light-hearted energy to others flirt be happy send send that energy of happiness towards your divine feminine no wonder they're feeling you send that light-hearted energy towards your divine feminine Because this is true love. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. And soulmate. Yes, this is your soulmate. So if you were wondering here, you have your confirmation. This is your soulmate. This is your soulmate. And this is a true love that you have wanted, that you made, that wish for. This is the love that you ask God for. The person that will love you like nobody else. The person that would love you like you would love yourself. The person that loves you like the love that you have been given and it wasn't reciprocated by others. That person will welcome that love and appreciate it. Nurture Archangel Gabriel. As you nurture a child, you nurture your own inner child. Both activities are important for you right now. 1616. See that? Your prosperity is on its way, Archangel Ariel. Your material needs are provided as you follow your intuition and manifest your dreams into reality. So once you start to move forward towards your divine feminine, you'll see things change in your life. You'll see positivity coming, abundance coming. Then imagine when you're together. Teaching and learning, Archangel Zadkiel. Keep an open mind and learn new ideas. Then teach these ideas to others. And on the top, clear cognizance, Archangel Uriel. Pay attention to thoughts and ideas that come to you as they are answered prayers. Exactly. So you've been praying and wishing. Just pay attention to those thoughts and ideas that are coming to you now. Because it's, 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 it's what's directing you. To your true path to the divine feminine it's what's giving you your answers god is answering your answers your questions this is true love divine masculines move forward and to purchase my book guys the links are in the description box below thank you for coming by thank you all for your support Love you all. Bye.